This is Paul. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Luke mm -hmm, chapter 12, verse 9. <laughs> you know, I just want to say that <laughs> I like to be doing devotions in the morning. And this is Bible reading at night. Yeah. <laughs> if I was able to talk to Marilyn about her spiritual growth and maturity as a woman. Yeah. I would say that it would be nice to be able to discuss the Bible with somebody. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, it's not necessarily the best way to just be doing the Bible reading, mm -hmm. but considering my situation, <laughs> it'd be so much easier to read the Bible and discuss it mm -hmm. while doing devotions. Yep. A lot of good Christians, they, they have some confusion about this. Yep. <laughs> See... Most of those in Christianity, they know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this is not devotions. This is called Bible reading. It's where you read the Bible. Yep. Yeah. And you think about what you're reading. Ah! Devotions are a little different. <clears throat> it's one of these where <clears throat> you get one of these books that explains what it is that you're reading. Yep. Yeah. My utmost for his highest. Yep. Yeah. I have quite a story about that. I... I had lived in Colville, and I was really praying, seeking the Lord. I was living in a little place by myself and two other guys. Yeah. <laughs> One guy was named Frank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got involved with a very large-breasted Italian woman and moved out. <laughs> <laughs> he told me about the experiences of being in the bathtub with her. Yeah. Slender man. Yeah. Approximately 140 pounds. Yeah. I would guesstimate that she was at least 30 to 40 pounds heavier than he was. <laughs> Nothing like having a woman larger than yourself to <laughs> bathe you. <laughs> a lot of small men, they like bigger women. <laughs> At 255 pounds. <laughs> a 310-pound woman. Yeah. Mm, not unless she's six foot six and double J-cupped. 